taking the plunge into real estate, making... Hello everyone, I am Bob, and in this real estate video, I'm going to be helping you steer clear of the big three issues that people have when trying to actually pass that real estate exam. Yes, a lot of people actually fail it the first time around and the second. And you know what? The third is not unheard of whatsoever. Here's the thing. The real estate exam, at least in Arizona, and I've been told by other people they're semi-similar in other states, but you be the judge, is, you know, it, it's, not, it's not rocket science, but there is a lot of stuff to know. So here's the best way to approach a test with thousands and thousands of questions that could possibly be put to you. The first thing to know about the real estate exam is how you actually, is when you actually take the exam. See, if you're going to be taking the classes and everything, a lot of people think, oh yeah, you know, I'm going to take all these classes for three weeks, six weeks, nine day crash course, whatever. And then I'm going to take the test and you usually schedule the test at a different time. You have your classes and then you independently have to schedule the test. I'll just take it like a month later. No, I'll just take it two weeks later. No, I'll just take it a week later. You know, give myself, you know, some time. No, you should really be taking that test no more. I really think you shouldn't do it more than two or three days after you've taken all your classes. You need to be fresh. There are, so much of this is just remembering a lot of stuff and you are going to forget that stuff the longer you wait. You don't need a huge review. Um, you do need to review and you need to do know yourself and you should review for a couple of days heavily, like just do that after all the classes. Uh, but take the test as soon as you can. Don't wait a week, don't wait a month. You'll be kicking yourself because you're gonna be forgetting stuff the whole time. Basically, look at your brain as, as like a bucket and there's holes. The longer you wait, the more you lose your knowledge and the bucket's going to get empty. So another thing to think about is a lot of people I notice, they, they say, okay, there's two parts of learning this. There's the reading it and then there's the, the booklets. Um, this is broker review, but they get at least where I am in Arizona. The booklets are all kind of the same if you're a real estate agent or a broker. And then there's these, which, you know, you circle it and you learn it and they're practice questions. And, and a lot of people fall into one of the two. Oh, I'm going to focus on the reading. Oh, I'm going to focus on the booklet. The truth is you really need to do both because if you're just trying to do the booklet, then you don't really get as much theory in things. So when they change the question around, you don't really know what happened. And when you just read it, you don't get to actually apply your knowledge, which means you're not really passing these. So you've got to do both. You're going to think, oh, this is too much. I'll just focus on one. It'll be fine. I really don't suggest you doing that. The last thing to do, and this is really helpful if you haven't uh, bought a home yourself, if you're maybe if you're younger, you, these concepts in real estate, you've had no actual life experience with because you haven't bought a home. Maybe you've never even gotten a lease because, you know, you can get these things at 18, I think, in almost every state. I know you can in Arizona. Um, is the best thing to do is you go to to get some contacts. Um, it's another YouTube channel, and he is really good at teaching the test specifically. And it's called Prep Agent, P-R-E-P, -E then Agent. He's really good. He gives context to little things. He talks about the math. He talks about um, concepts, little things that tend to confuse a lot of people, and he has it for, he has a lot of them. So if you watch those as well as read it, do the booklet, and take the test soon after you're done with all the classes you're required to take, I think you'll fare a lot better. So good luck guys, pass that test. Have a nice day.